Spirit, uh, all from uh, Evil. Hello. Uh, you can uh, introduce yourself uh, to the listeners. Yeah, I'm Aldrich from a band called Evil. I play lead guitar and make lots of noise. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if I'm uh, correct, this is the first uh, European headlining tour uh, for Evil. Um, we did one before with Warbringer, but it was kind of a Evil and Warbringer thing. So this is our first real Evil show. Yes, yeah. definitely. How's uh, the tour going so far? It's really cool. I mean, there's there's only been a few days where we've played like in the middle of nowhere, where just a sheep turns up. But um, it's been really cool. With uh, more people are coming to the shows than last time, so it's all good. Really, it's great. We've seen uh, Evil last year at uh, Dokkum Open Air. It was first time uh, that I saw Joel uh, with a band. Okay. Um, he seems to fit in uh, nicely with the band. Um, yeah. How was it for the other members in uh, Evil to play uh, live again with a new bass player? Um, it was strange at first because obviously we'd, we'd been with Bike since like 99, so um, he, he just fit in really well because he's, f- he's from where we are, like just over the hill, so we have like the same kind of humour and we just get along really well, so it really fit perfectly. It's cool. Well, about the album, Five Serpents, Steve. Nice uh, title, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Um, when we were listening to it, it just after it, uh, its uh, release, uh, I said uh, to Earth, like, wow, this is a record like Metallica I should have made uh, a couple of <laughs> years ago, you know? Cause, uh, Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I really think you guys uh, have it in you to become one of the bigger dress bands. But uh, how do you guys see it uh, yourself? Um, I don't know. I, we get asked that quite a lot, but it's never a conscious... Um, we want to be the next Metallica or we want to be this. We just, we write the songs to the point where we really like them. Mm. So it's bound to sound a bit like something because we love, we grew up with Metallica. So um, we just do things and then people say things about us like, oh, the next Metallica, uh, but it's cool. It's a compliment, I guess. So no bad things. So the funny thing was uh, when the first album came out, I heard a lot of people say, "Hey, his singing uh, sounds like uh, Tom Araya from Play." We had Slayer. We had um, what else? Uh, Sacred Reich. A lot of. I don't mind. It's like everyone sounds like someone. So mm. whatever. <laughs> this is the song uh, Xaraya uh, about. Uh, I mean, uh, the quick search on the internet, we found out uh, it's. Uh, the computer program uh, with that name. Um, Matt won't even tell us what it's fully about. I know it's it's a girl's name. It's um, it's a story about a, something that happened to a girl, but he won't even tell us. So I can't tell you, <laughs> unfortunately. It's, uh, still a big secret uh, that way. He like he likes keeping a mystery to things like he doesn't like how you can just search Wikipedia and find anything in mm. these days. So he likes some kind of mystery to things. Yes. So. People. Uh, can make up for themselves what it's uh, about. If it means something to them in that way, that's great. But if you say it is about this, you don't have as mm-hmm. much imagination about it. So yeah. uh, I might be mistaken, but I thought I read something that uh, the bass playing in the intro of uh, In Memoriam, uh, that would be uh, Mike's, uh, is it correct or not? Uh, Joel played it, but um, it's whenever we used to sound check with Mike and the sound guy would go, can I hear bass, he'd play that line. And it would always just stick in my head, I don't know why, and then after he passed away and we started writing. I just had that in my head and I showed it Joel and we just put it in and we thought it's a really nice touch to yeah. kind of have him on the album in a way without having him on the album. So, yeah. yeah. It's written by him, but Joel played it. Yeah. All right. This is, uh, yeah, I think we both agree about a really great song. Oh, yeah. We put so much into that. We spent a long time because yeah. we didn't want it to be like cliche, mm-hmm. ballad, you know, so... Yeah. We, we try to avoid that. Now, yeah, well, we are almost done now uh, with the interview. Uh, I wanna, we want to thank you uh, a lot. Uh, oh, thank you. Is there anything uh, you want to share with our listeners? Um, the only thing I can ever think to say is, um, especially in this day and age, that people need to start supporting the bands they like. I mean, especially for bands at our level, it's so expensive and, you know, I'm not going to get into illegal downloading, but just support the bands you like not just Eval, any bands because bands really need their fan support now so whoever you're listening to make sure you go to their shows try buy some merch to support them buy their album so that's all I can say really just support music support bands 
and buy our album. <laughs> <laughs> I can uh, really recommend that latest last one, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, personally, I, I always like to buy CDs or vinyl and hold it and look through the book and everything. And you can't have an MP3 and there's nothing there. Like, we, me and Joel found some vinyl at the last venue in, um, no, a few nights ago. We were like, looking through it like wow vinyl vinyl but you just don't have that with mp3s or downloads it's just not the same yeah. so I, I prefer hard copies